Hi, my name is Thomas and I'm a sophomore at Bennington College. I study audience contextualization of theater by taking theater classes, psychology classes, and math classes. Although the math classes are more just for fun because I enjoy them. Audience contextualization to me means many different audience members with different life experiences coming to the same show and contextualizing it differently because of those life experiences. This adds more depth and meaning to the show and also makes it more personal and intimate. My first psychology class was called Normality and Abnormality and we studied the difference between the two and where the line is drawn and how fuzzy that line can be. In that class I started to think about how different separate audience members are and how the same show can affect those people in completely different ways. My second psychology class is called Self, Culture, and Society, and it's my first social psychology class. I'm excited to combine the ideas about human interactions that we learn in that class to the interactions of audience members both before and after a show. The third psychology class that I'm also taking this term is called Creative Psychology. We're discovering through experiment what creativity is and how and if it can be measured by science. I'm also taking many classes at Bennington that are not on the surface related to psychology, theater, or math. Although because of how Bennington's education is structured, for me, they are. In my first term, I took a Zeitgeist and Political Poetry class that I did not think would affect how I study theater, psychology, and math at Bennington, but I was wrong. The professor presented a philosophy about poetry that I think can be transferred to theater as well. She said the artist who creates the poetry does not have any say in how that poetry affects the reader. I think this can be transferred to theater in the same way that my plan covers audience contextualization and the difference between different audience members. Someone who creates theater, while they create the substance and the content of the play, doesn't have any say in how the play affects society. This term I'm taking a dance class. In fact, yesterday I had a meeting with that professor about my midterm evaluation. We brought up the concept of quality and movement. That was a term that I didn't quite know because it's not used in theater, but it is used in dance. I was asking her what it meant and how I could describe my different movements with quality. I finally started to understand that quality was not something that can be expressed in words. It was something that can be expressed in movements and gestures alone. We can try to use words to build up qualities, but nothing will be exactly accurate to experiencing the quality yourself. I think that if I add this to my theatrical studies at Bennington, I will have a lot more context for what emotions are brought up by theater. I've come to understand that the word extracurricular is not something that is used at Bennington, primarily because the things that you do on campus that are not specifically for a class are not extracurricular, they're exactly part of your Bennington curriculum. A really good example of this is how I added math to my plan. At first, when I came to Bennington, I did not expect to study math, although I got really interested in some problems that I had never heard of before. I brought them to my advisor at that point, and also to the math professor at the college. Both of them highly recommended that I add math to my plan because they could see the passion that I had for it, and that just because it's not part of the main things I was going to be studying at college does not mean it's not a major part of who I am at college and what my plan should be. The first acting class I took at Bennington College was with a professor named Dina Janis, who's been an actor her entire professional career. It was amazing to see the depth of acting technique that I had only barely tapped into before college. I still work with her to this day in my studies at Bennington. I also took an acting class in my second term with a professor named Jenny Roan. It was called Viewpoints and it was much more about physical embodiment of emotion and acting. I still work with her today as well. My advisor Sherry Kramer is a playwriting professor who approaches playwriting from a very similar philosophy as I plan to approach acting and directing at Bennington. All of these professors have pushed me deeper and deeper into a more complex understanding of what theater means to me. Dina has led me to a deeper understanding of what acting styles work best for me and how I can best convey the emotions that I want to convey as an actor. Jenny has guided me towards a deeper understanding of how emotion and movement connect and how imperative it is to have both of those in a show that you want to be able to affect a widespread audience. Finally, Sherry Kramer has guided me to a deeper understanding of what art is and what it means to me. As my advisor, Sherry Kramer is a one-stop shop for inspirational advice, funny stories, and supportive conversations. I can't wait to keep working with her on my plan and seeing it evolve into my senior year and beyond.